Hey there, I'm Assassinator RC, and this is a continuation of the top-down racing tutorial that I put out not too long ago. Turns out I didn't explain the lap counter thoroughly enough, so it's my bad, I'm sorry, but here is the capture for you. What I'm going to do today in this tutorial is I'm going to show you with stickers uh, for feature visual recognition how it works, and I'm also going to do three laps going around the track with, the, with it open. Now, what I'm doing with these numbers is I'm showing you uh, how many players it needs to be needs to pass the finish line for the counter to activate. Now, um, the the top one is for the first player, second player, third player, fourth player, and I'm going to simulate the players passing over with a tag of the same color. The first player, and then the third, second player, third player, fourth player, and to, the only way it can be reset is a uh, player passing here, which assumably will be the first player. And um, once that is reset, the first player can get 40, then f 30, then 20, then 10 for the for the last player. Now, um, also the bottom counters are the lap counters, which is activated by a, a tag facing to the right in a 180 degree fashion. Now um, that activates a one in one counter which can be reset by the player going to the right and three of that makes it. Now I'm also going to use some music to mark the third lap so it's easier to notice. And I I apologise for this drive, it's pretty awful. But the car is on a fin at the moment and well kinda can go off the course. But anyway. Coming up to the third lap here. Also, a quick shout out to Sim725 who helped with the visuals of this. It is quite a good update, and he also has a YouTube channel, so be sure to check him out. He does some awesome things. And that is the third lap, the final lap. So I hope you, this has helped. I hope you've been inspired, and I've been Assassinator RFC, and just thanks for watching.